Jamal, I, I, I'm curious about this because I think it's very unique that you're doing this fight uh, on Juneteenth, which is obviously a significant date for this country, uh, significant, obviously very significant here in Texas. But do you think um, more black fighters should, especially if they're from here in Texas, use this date as an annual fight date, kind of like Mexican fighters use Cinco de Mayo and make this a regular thing? Um, I gave that a lot of thought, you know. Um, I'm honored to be fighting on June 19th to get the chance to represent my people and, uh, you know, all the African Americans that found out they were free back in the days, uh, all the ancestors that fought, you know, I get the chance to fight on the same day that they found out they were free. That's awesome. You know, I love it. But I'm focused on what the fuck he just said. Are y'all crazy? You do y'all think I overlook him? No, I did not overlook him. June nineteenth, yeah, that's a holiday. Thank you. Thank you for the holiday. Thank you for the uh, proclamation. We got a belt one Jose Suman, awesome dude, you know, uh T G B been promoting me for a while, like, you know, OVO Charlotte. Thank everybody who rocking with me. Look, I put my life on the line. You know, every time I get in the ring, I put my life on the line. I didn't overlook this dude. He's 22, knock, 22 knockouts, 22 wins. That's all he living off of. That's what he think that, oh, I train harder. You train hard, I train way harder. Like, that's how I feel about it. Like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm in shape. This fight going to be crazy. Let him come at me like he thinking, he, you know, uh, old Jamar Charlo, everybody call me the underdog. You, you, you wasn't the underdog in the Kirkland fight. Kirkland, I, I was like, oh, you gonna knock Kirkland out. I knew it. He's done. He washed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Centeno, I know. Man, they, man, I fought Centeno. Maybe it is gonna be a good fight. I don't know. Y'all had a draw. That was a good fight. Y'all both was hitting each other like y'all. No, no. It's hitting. Don't get hit. If you come at me like that, I'm telling you right now, you. All y'all, you clap again. You'll be like, I'm telling you, I'm like that. June 19th, it's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a parade. We can. I go to Mexico a lot. Like I love Mexico. You know, we can party in Mexico if you want. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a party. All right. June 19th, y'all get ready. It's gonna be a show. I'm coming to fight. I'm coming to put everything on the line. My the belts, the title, Jamal Shalom, my legacy. I uh, thank y'all, man. Man, I thank y'all enough for coming out to support me in Houston. But this is going to be one of the fights that y'all going to say, hey, he said it, he did it. Slip up if you want to. Juan? <laughs> Basically, the champ said he's heard that you, you believe you have power. But the champ also says he would love to see you stand in front of him and withstand see if you can withstand his power. What do you say to that? Eh, Juanito, él dice de que tú tienes mucha potencia y que él también las tiene. Cuando tú te enfrentes a él y él espera que te vayas a enfrentar y tirar golpes eh, a él, ¿qué tú vas a hacer cuando él te tira los golpes a ti y cuál va a ser el, el final? Pues creo que, que pues una vez que se para tirar golpes conmigo, pues no, se va a arrepentir y, y pues a, a sacar todo lo que hicimos en la preparación más que nada. I believe that if he want to trade box, if he try punches with me, I guarantee you that he will feel very bad in the end. He will feel sorry for that. 